Yes. Welcome to my tutorial on getting started with NRF5 and DK. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you on how to develop applications or systems using Nordic Semiconductor's NRF5 and development kit, right from beginner level to an expert level. So let's get started. Okay. Before we dig deep into developing systems with this NRF5 and series, let us first get ourselves acquainted with the NRF5 and development board. In order to do that, let's begin at uh, Nordic's website because that's the best place to get started. Okay, here we are in Nordic's website. Now, go to the products tab and then go to the Bluetooth Low Energy tab. Okay, now you can read through all this information to know more on where Bluetooth Low Energy is used. For example, watches, tracking apps, sports and fitness sensors, healthcare sensors, remote controls. There is a lot of information given on this website. You can go through this and uh, you will know more about uh, where to use this Bluetooth applications, Bluetooth 5, Bluetooth 4.2, Bluetooth Smart. Okay. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, let's uh, move down to NRF 5.1 series scroll down this is nrf52 series and there you go there is the nrf51 series as shown here there are three versions of nrf51 series available right now we are interested in nrf51422 soc because that is the soc used on this development board the nrf51 dk which i'll be using this over the course of this tutorial let's click on that there you go you have the overview of NRF 51422 SOC now before we start developing applications using the NRF 51 DK you need to know the limitations and specifications of the board I highly recommend you to go through the product data sheet to know all the maximum electrical limitations of the board okay. here is the product data sheet I'll attach a link in the description below in the product specification, entire details about the board will be given over here. The supply voltage, the, the current it uses, the uh, crystals, oscillator speed, everything. I highly recommend you to go through this all these specs here. Go to the table of contents, scroll down. Go through the first, go through the electrical specifications. And you can read through all this information. That's very important because uh, you will be doing irreversible damage to your board if you don't know your board specification, the maximum tolerance levels, everything. You will be giving more power or current to it and you will be damaging your board. That's not what we want, right? Okay. After you have gone through the specs, which I assume you will do, now you are good to go. Okay. To get started with the SDK, to get started first we need an SDK SDK is nothing but software development kit the SDK allows us to develop applications effortlessly it contains all the drivers API's application and uh, soft devices example codes etc these all are required for the operation of SOC this all uh, SDK is made and developed by no people guys in Nordic semiconductors and they put it up uh, in their website for for us to download it for free okay for the SDK can be downloaded from Nordic's website for free of charge as I told earlier for the purpose of this tutorial I'll be using the SDK NRF 5 SDK version 11 which is the latest one available as of the date I'm doing okay click on that okay you have the documentation for this one you have the packs and you have the SDK click on the zip file and download it to the place which is convenient and easily accessible for you I have already downloaded this SDK so I'll be using the one which I have already downloaded over here I have downloaded it and I have extracted it to my folder let's click on that 
Now there are different folders available here. You can explore all these folders. You know, go into them and uh, explore all what is there over here. But remember, be careful not to mess with the directories as this cause this will cause compilation errors later on this tutorial when we will compile the example codes given over here. Okay. That's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be explaining you on how to set up the environment and flash your first Blinky code. Bye-bye. See ya.